Hi everybody, Dr. Mark here. In this video, we're gonna take a look at blood groups or blood types. Now you need to understand the term antigen, antibody, and erythrocyte. So erythrocyte is a red blood cell. They carry oxygen and nutrients around the body. An antibody is something that your body produces to be able to recognize, detect, and attack any foreign substance, what we call an antigen. So an antigen is simply a protein or like a little flag that can be waved by a cell that our body recognizes, and we recognize it as either being self or non-self. All right, if it's non-self, it targets it for attack. If it's self, it should leave it alone. All right. Now, when we look at blood groups and blood typing, they are antigens, so proteins, that sit on the surface of red blood cells, and they're like little flags. And there's a couple of different blood types that you can be. So again, you can be blood type A, blood type B, blood type AB, and blood type O. Now, this is what it is. You've got a red blood cell, and that red blood cell will have a protein on it or a flag, and this flag is going to say A. So that's the antigen, and the antigen is A. For B, it's a red blood cell, and it's going to have a B flag or a B antigen. For AB, it's going to have both an A flag and a B flag. So both the A antigen and B antigen. And for O, the red blood cell doesn't have any flags or any antigens. Now this is how I like to think of it. I always like to give things Game of Thrones analogies. If these were different houses, right? You got the Starks and Targaryens and so forth. And every house has a flag that's got their symbol on it. Now, every house also has an army associated with it. And remember at the front of the army, they're always carrying that flag to represent what house they are from. Now that army, are they trained to attack the flag that they're holding? No, of course not. They're trained to attack the flag that they're not holding, all the other flags. So when we look at somebody with a blood type A, their army, which we call the antibodies, right? Their antibodies are going to be against all the flags that they don't have. And the only flag they don't have is B. So they're going to have B antibodies. These are the army that's going to attack any invading pathogen or antigen of another blood type. So if you're blood group A, you're going to have antibodies against B. And if you're blood group B, the only other flag or antigen that you can create an army or antibodies against is going to be A. And interestingly, if you are of house AB, well, there's no flag or house to create an army against. So you don't have any antibodies against any of them. But if you're Blood group O, you're basically a Bedouin. You have no particular house, but everybody is your enemy, right? So you're gonna create antibodies against house A or antigen A and against antigen B. Now what this means is this. We can now look at any particular blood group and see who they can receive blood from and who they cannot. So if you're a blood group A, you cannot receive any B blood. So you can't receive blood from B, you cannot receive blood from AB. You may think, but they've got the A flag, sure. But they've also got the B flag and they're going to attack that. However, there's no flag on O. So O can be given to A. So A can be given to A and O. For B, it can't receive A, it can't receive AB, but B can receive O. AB, well, AB can take blood from A, AB can take blood from B, and AB can take fr blood from O, and they're recognized as the universal acceptor. Now O, O can't get A blood, O can't get B blood, O can't get AB blood, they can only get O blood, but everyone can take O blood, A could take it, B could take it, AB could take it. So O is known as the universal donor, which is why we always need more O blood. Now you're probably sitting there going, what about the positive? I'm A positive or B positive or AB negative, for example. This is what we call rhesus factor. Now rhesus factor, 
named after rhesus monkey where it was first identified, is recognized as a D antigen or a D flag. So for example, if somebody is A positive, it means they don't just have the A flag, they've also got the D flag, right? If this person is B negative, it simply means they just don't have the D flag. But what it also means is, it adds another level of complexity. If you're B negative and you don't have the D flag, you're also gonna create an army against D. Which means all blood types that are negative cannot receive positive blood. But blood types that are positive can receive negative blood. So this is how it should be looked at. Now, if we look at AB positive, they have an A flag or antigen, B flag, and D, or racist flag. So again, they don't create antibodies against anybody, and they can receive every type of blood imaginable. If somebody's O negative, they don't have an A flag, don't have a B flag, and they still don't have a D flag, they can't receive blood from anyone but themselves, but they can donate their blood to everybody. And that's how you should look at it. If you ever get asked a question in an exam, this, this is the particular blood type, who can they donate to? or who can they receive blood from? Remember, they will not create antibodies against their own flag or antigen, but they will create antibodies against everybody else's. And this is a quick run through of blood types and transfusions.